Welcome back, guys, Good to fun. another episode of Fallout 4. Here we go. All right, this is like some secret underground gang, the railroaders. And she's taking me into their secret base, their lair. The Railroad HQ. Let's get it, boys. So these people are the people who should be able to decode the little transponder thing we got out of the cursor's head and uh, hopefully tell us how we can use their teleportation system to get into the Institute and find out what's going on with our son. We're hot on the trail, boys. Hot on the trail. Putting a course of ship is a de very delicate situation. A million things can go wrong. Fortunately, uh -oh. we have the right man for the job. Why does she sound so quiet to me? Do I need to turn up my headset? Is this I him? Need it. You need something? Tom, Tinker Tom. The visitor here has a course of ship. Oh, for real? Oh man, it's been ages. <laughs> right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done. We get the courser chip. Um, no nah. Way. That chip is mine. To anybody else in the Commonwealth, all you have is two caps worth of salvage. With us, that data is priceless. But we're not just going to give that away. Talk to me again if you change your mind. Shoot! Hey I guess we have to. We decode the courser chip for you, but after that, it's ours. Deal? Fine. Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. I tried to play hardball and she totally just strong armed me. circuit analyzer take a crack at you? We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here we go. Come on, Tom. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man. They've added more nervous to the last lifer. This is gonna be. Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? He's what? doing the same stuff we they do with terminals. The same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man, we got lucky. Got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet. Yeah, we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Solid. I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Dad. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, Absolutely. If you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. There's more going on than you know. All right, so let's go talk to her. I want to start up this this side quest that she's gonna have for us. Be dealing more with each other. I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Of course. Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage, give them a chance at a real life. Interesting. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? But synths... Synths are robots. They're not people. But sure, I know you want me to say yes. my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs. Normally, we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. All right, so where's Deacon at? Wait, Nick, what do you want to know? What's up? Hey, there's something you need? Nick. Hey, let me ask you something. Is something wrong? Well, I... I sort of had the same question. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Oh, Nick! Thank you! Yeah, I'm all right. Huh. 
You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. The folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. Oh, wow! The security finally put enough holes in him to drop him. They say he was full of servos and sprockets, just like yours truly. He was a set. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. What's the CPG massacre? Massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Hmm. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. A man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh... With the boy? Known for an evening. That makes Turns sense. The guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Huh. Was it hard settling in? Yeah, Nick's a good guy. Easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. And that's how he they became the detective. The paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. <laughs> I never stopped being Nick the synth, but it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things... Uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. And then I came a along. a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Absolutely. Wow, so that's kind of cool. You know, it's, it's pretty long, but we got Nick's story, which is awesome. Um, I don't know. It's like, it's tough. Because I'm thinking, like, since they're just robots, they're just, like, you know, pre-made beings, they aren't actual humans. But at the same time, like, think of Nick. Like, he's a, a guy that cares for the well-being of other people, so who's to say that his life we'll is like less that. valuable than That's an actual true. human? Do you know what I mean? All right, we're supposed to talk to Deacon. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. That's cool. No worries. Your leader was just being cautious. Yeah, we know we're all on the same team. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. I got you, fam. 
Don't worry. I'll keep your secret. That's what I want to hear. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Okay! Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. So this kind of makes me think of uh, when we joined the Brotherhood of Steel. I wonder, can you be in two different kind of like brotherhoods at the same time? You know what I mean? I hope so. Anyway, we're going to go out. We're going to get upstairs. Gosh, dude, I forgot how creepy this place was. We're going to go out and get out of this, um, this church. And then uh, I think we're supposed to go talk to Virgil. Up in the, um, or out in the, the wasteland. The good thing is, these things aren't going to come back alive, will they? I don't think so, since we already killed them. Wait, what am I doing? I'm going to go this way. The good thing is, we should be able to fast travel straight to him, so we shouldn't have any problem with, uh, with getting there. But it's going to be fun. So we, we have the code on this thing cracked. We're going to go talk to Virgil. We'll see what he says to do next. And then from there, I think we might start working on some more side missions, just to kind of you know, mix it up, do something a little bit different. I don't want to just stick to the main story nonstop. We made some pretty good progress over the last couple of episodes, so maybe we'll go help out the railroad crew. Maybe we'll go do some stuff for the um, Brotherhood of Steel. I don't know. Oh, speaking of that, we should probably go pick up our uh, our power armor suit and good neighbor. We might not need it yet. We aren't going to be walking around the Dead Sea or the, the Glowing Sea, so we aren't going to need it yet, but we're probably going to end up having to go back and grab that at some point or another. Because that thing's just kind of important. All right, boys. Well, that was good. Is this Paul Revere? I think that's Paul Revere, which is kind of cool. Because that's like the, the lamp he used to warn. The British are coming. The British are coming. What are you looking at, Nick? All right. Anyway, let's um, let's go ahead and go to our map. So our next step is to go all the way back down here and return to Virgil. So we're gonna fast travel to the rocky cave. Hopefully that giant death claw isn't just outside of it. What is that thing? A melee weapon? It's like concrete with rebar sticking out of it. That thing would be pretty insane. All right. Unless you're hounding for a green suntan, I suggest we get a move on. We're in the cave, boys. Oh, I don't like the death claws, dude. Those things scared the crap out of me. Crap out of me. Hello, turrets. Virgil? I've got our answer. And don't forget, I know I've got to pick up something for you. Some, like... Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need. Antidote for this stuff. I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? I've made some friends in the Commonwealth. Better you than me. <laughs> Face like this. I'm not gonna make too many friends. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could from memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. No way. Carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises, but. 
If you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can okay. You, I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I don't know. Find people to I honestly don't know. Need to because this is it. It's the only way you're getting in, and you have to get in. For both of us. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. So do we choose who we ask for help? You can see it says optional talk to the Minutemen or there's another one over here. Optional talk to the Brotherhood. I think I'm going to talk to the Brotherhood, dude. I feel like that's the team that you want to go with. Like the giant guys with the freaking mech suits and stuff. Like those, I, th those are the guys. Well, we're trying to think. What does the Brotherhood want to do? They just want to retake the, the Wasteland. So if we could take out... The Institute, they're going to be happy. The, um, they, they all kind of had the same goal. They all hate the Institute. So I don't think it really matters who we go with. But I feel like the Brotherhood's going to have the most firepower. They've got the nukes. They've got the warships. They've got all kinds of stuff like that. So we're going to go, uh, what is this? What's this objective right here? Oh, that's just showing that it's a doorway to leave, I guess? I don't know, but we're gonna go talk to the Brotherhood. When I get off duty, that's Probably gonna talk to uh, this main guy that's just right in here. We're gonna see see what he says. We've helped them out to an extent so far. We're probably farthest with uh, the Minutemen. They probably have the most um, loyalty to us, but we'll see what happens. But here now, we go. Elder I'm Maxon. Sure you that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. I've got the answers, bro. The came to light. Our mission became clear. The Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth they've come up empty-handed the only logical explanation is that they've gone underground That's you're right need your help oh man first up I'm gonna quick save is this where you have to like choose your ending because now that I think about it the railroad is all about saving the synths and keeping people happy these guys are all about just straight up killing everybody the minutemen i would assume are kind of somewhere in between i feel like the minutemen are probably a little bit more towards am i boring you knight it's your lucky day what? let's see what happens lucky day i have a way inside the method is useless without the means to make it work perhaps we should pool our resources to achieve our common goal. Now, indulge me for a moment by satisfying my curiosity. Tell me why you're so eager to get into the Institute. I think they're the ones who kidnapped my son. The Institute preys on the weak to further their own ends. Together, we'll make them pay for their crimes. I'll call ahead and brief Proctor Ingram. Report to the airport and get to work on your project right away. I'm kind of nervous now. Do we have the option to talk to the Minutemen? Oh, shoot, dudes. I don't know what to do, honestly. Ew, that's a tough decision. Part of me wants to reload. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm going to think about this. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode.
All right, so good news. I did just find a little article. It doesn't give away the ending or spoil anything, but it basically says that it doesn't matter who you choose to go with to get to the final ending. Once you get in the Institute, that is where you kind of like make a decision and there are four different endings you can go from from there and i would honestly probably like to do all four in this let's play we'll just you know kind of like save beforehand and then do all four different ones so we'll see what happens but uh we aren't gonna have to make the decision at this point in time so even though we did say that we'd work with the blood or all right guys so good news i did find a little article here it doesn't spoil anything which is nice but it does say that it doesn't matter who you choose to side with to get to the Institute. Once you get in the Institute, that is where you make a few decisions and there are multiple endings that you can get depending on what you decide. But how you get into the Institute does not matter who you do it with. So even though technically we decided to decide with the Brotherhood of Steel right here, we do not have to decide to side with them in the future, which is, uh, is nice, that's good. So we're good for now. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode and uh, we're gonna continue on on our adventure. I'll catch you guys later.